さんこんにちは。東京ベジライフの夏希です。今日はとてもスペシャルなゲスト様をお迎えして対談を行っていきたいんですけれども、今日の、えー、ゲスト様はエミリエンさんという方で、えー、オーシャンボトルというこちらのボトルですね。この面白い、えー、ちょっとコンセプトで、えー、海のプラスチックゴミをなくそうという運動をされている方を、えー、お,お迎えしてお話をお伺いしていきたいと。思いますで今日はちょっとインタビュー全部英語でやっていくんですけれども下に字幕をねつけておきますのでぜひ、えー、最後まで聞いてください。So、um, I've been watching a lot of documentary movies about plastic waste and how it's a big problem now in the environment but、um, and I'm sure like most of the people are aware that it's a big problem but maybe like、um, Not too many people are aware of the, the gravity of the issue and the details of the issue. So, if you can give us the overview of, of this plastic waste problem that exists in the world today and why we should be concerned. Yeah, of course.、Uh, and I, I totally agree that,、uh, especially in the media, with a lot of headlines, that Could lead、uh, to think that、um, the problem of plastic is, is actually getting better,、mm. while、well, the truth is it's actually getting worse.、Um, the reality is that、um, 22 million、um, kilos of plastic enter the ocean every day.、Mm. Uh, so, to give you a bit of an idea, that's about a truck load every minute、uh, wow. going into the ocean.、Um, and at the current rate, if nothing is changed、uh, in terms of laws and behaviors, Then that rate、um, is, going, is set to double by 2030, so in just、wow. under 10 years.、Okay. Um, but there is something we can do.、Um, and yeah, I think the, the, the problem today is that、um, about 80% of the world's waste、mm-hmm. uh, can be recycled because there's no recycling infrastructure t- to handle it. So that's really the main issue that we don't really. See in、uh, the more developed countries of the world,、mm. but that is a, a sad reality in, in most、uh, developing countries of the world today. So, so you said 80% of all the plastic waste is not recycled. So, where, where does that、uh, 80% go mostly? In the ocean,、uh, getting burned, getting landfilled,、uh, getting buried in the ground.、Uh, it really Depends, but more often than not, if it's landfill、uh, in a lot of countries, then with rains,、um, it will end up in waterways and、mm. then in the ocean. And that's、mm. where most of it ends up today. Right, right. So I guess the main issue with plastic is、uh, it doesn't decompose, right, for, I guess, eternity? <laughs> Many years, yeah. Many years, <laughs> yeah. So、uh, what is the problem with microplastic? Today in the ocean?、Uh, well, the big problem is that、um, it's very hard to,、um, to catch, and also、um, it causes a problem for、um, animals in the ocean because、mm. a lot of it makes it up for food、mm. and then drop, end up ingesting it.、Um, and a lot of it, you know, we've all seen、um, photos, videos of, of、uh, fish and, and marine mammals with their stomach filled. With plastic because、right. they confuse it for food.、Mm. Um, another big problem is that although we might think that、um, a lot of the plastic in the ocean floats,、mm. while、well, most of it is under、um, sea level, so it's just in the sea and it's unattainable for us. We can't recuperate it. So basically, once the plastic enters the ocean, it's basically gone. There's not much we can do about it. And, and attempting to, to catch it, although it is. Very important is very inefficient, very hard to do. Right. So, for us, really, the goal is to stop plastic before it's allowed to enter the ocean, before、mm. it's allowed to be to finish its life in the ocean、um, for, for decades and, and centuries.、Okay. Um, so, that's why really we wanted to create and incentivize、um, a system where people、um, are incentivized to collect it before it can enter the ocean. Right. So, let's talk about. Ocean bottle.、Uh, what,、sure. what is ocean bottle and w- why is it so special? How is it different from any other recyclable tumbler or bottle? Yeah, 
Um, so Ocean Bottle is an impact company first uh, and a reusable company mm -hmm. second. Um, we basically are enabling individuals uh, to have an impact on turning the tap off ocean plastic um, whilst creating uh, social mobility in coastal communities worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, every ocean bottle funds the collection of a thousand plastic bottles uh, in weight and collectors living in coastal communities all over the world can exchange the plastic they collect uh, for things they need, whether that is cash or life improving credits uh, via an IBM blockchain. Um, so to date, we've funded the collection of just under 1.5 million kilos of plastic. Uh, so to give you a bit of an idea, that is uh, enough plastic bottles put together to cross the diameter of the planet twice. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. So when you talk, when you say um, coastal communities, what kind of communities are you talking about? Yeah. So today, uh, with our partner Plastic Bank, we, we operate in um, Indonesia, so in Bali, mm -hmm. uh, in the Philippines, in Brazil, and Haiti, and soon we will operate in Egypt as well. Uh, and with Plastic Bank, we focus on coastal communities uh, with a big waste management um, gap. So mm -hmm. with a lot of volume of plastic to deal with and a very, very small um, infrastructure to, to deal with it. Right, right. So do you build like facilities to recycle plastic there yeah. or? Yeah, so what we do um, is that the impact um, of each ocean bottle goes towards um, incentivizing the collection of plastic, mm. but also goes into developing uh, collection centers and recycling infrastructure there. Okay, okay. So I guess um, this problem with plastic waste, it's not just about, you know, people using too much plastic and throwing them away without recycling, but this problem of poverty and, you know, lack of inf infrastructure and lack of incentive for people to to recycle this waste, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and you know, it's the the issue is that um, plastic is very inexpensive to make, mm. and so it's very it's uh, very inexpensive to uh, recycle. Oh, to it's very. Uh, in it like an and incentivized mm. uh, to collect and recycle because right. it's just so cheap to make right, um, right so what we're doing with plastic bank is that we're actually paying a premium uh, to incentivize collectors so we pay about okay. um, three times the market rates uh, with plastic bank for these mm. collectors to collect plastic okay okay uh, but when you say plastic there are all sorts of plastic right? I mean, plastic yeah. is just a general term for different materials that are, <laughs> that's called plastic. So when these collectors collect plastic, can it be, it's not just like pet bottles, right? It can be other kinds of plastic? Yeah, or? it can be most, uh, it can be all sorts of plastic. Uh, obviously they all have different values. Um, but most of it, what we find is that the most common uh, plastic is PET. Um, mm. So from bottles and, and, um, and other single-use containers. Um, but collectors can bring all sorts of plastic and we can handle all sorts of plastic mm. and recycle them all. And uh, collectors bring them to a collection point where it is uh, weighted and then sorted into different kinds um, to, in order to, uh, to reward the, the collector. So... Um... Ocean Bottle project started in London, New York. Where, where did it start? Yeah, so um, basically one of the Ocean Bottle uh, co-founders, Will, um, spent a year um, out at sea working as a deckhand for, uh, in the Indian Ocean in an island called uh, Tiafushi, which is also called uh, and known as Rubbish Island. Oh, um, okay. And so there, um, Basically there, the plastic from resorts is uh, mostly burnt mm. uh, or left out to drift in the ocean. Mm. Um, and so this really inspired Will to begin researching further um, into the problem. 
And then he discovered the reality of, of that figure that 22 million kilos of plastic enter the ocean every day. Um, and following this, uh, Will came in, came across Plastic Bank. Uh, we're setting up infrastructure um, in some of the world's worst hit places. Mm. Um, and so when he realized that there was really synergies to be made with Plastic Bank, um, he sort of came up with the idea of Ocean Bottle of really creating a product um, that would allow individuals all over the world to create this tangible impact in mm. some of the world's most hit um, places. And so he brought this idea back to London where he met uh, Nick at London Business School. And that's really how Ocean Bottle came about um, two years ago in 2019. Two years ago, okay. Um, I, yeah. I, I like the concept a lot because when it comes to plastic waste, it's not just about recycling, but you also have to reduce the amount of plastic waste in, in the first place, right? Exactly. So having this kind of um, bottle that you can use to get refills and you know, you don't have to buy like bottled water and stuff like that, then you're reducing the waste. At the same time, you are also contributing to recycling whatever waste that has already been created, right? Exactly. Um, I think the, the fact that we chose to uh, fund our mission through a reus reusable bottle is quite symbolic in that sense and quite uh, strong as a statement because not only do we really want to um, really incentivize the collection of, of the result of wasted plastic, mm. um, but we also want to incentivize sustainable behaviors in developed countries and um, for people who have the power to, to reduce their footprint mm. and to have a, proper, um, have a proper impact on reducing the amount of plastic that's being uh, produced every year. Right, right. So uh, I also really like the simple design and very practical mm -hmm. design. And uh, it, so it keeps all the drinks cold and also hot, right? Um, it does, yeah. And this part, you can flip it like this and use it as a cup yeah. also. <laughs> That's exactly. kind of cute. And I thought like initially this was plastic, but it's not, right? It's biodegradable material. So it will be by the end of the year. Oh, okay. um, we yeah. So at the moment, um, it is PP because it is uh, BPA free mm. um, PP because that's a uh, that's a regulation. And at the moment, there is no uh, biomaterial alternative. Mm. But we've spent about a year uh, researching and developing uh, a way to solve this because obviously we want it to create a product uh, fully circular um, so that um, so that obviously it would have the smallest footprint on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, so today our bottle is made from ocean bound plastic at its base. So literally okay. the plastic collected from, right. uh, with plastic bank, mm -hmm. uh, recycled stainless steel to bring an insulation um, for most of the body of the bottle mm -hmm. and then BPA free plastic, which will be uh, replaced by um, a recycled alternative by the end of the year. Okay, that's great. Um, and uh, it comes in various colors too, right? How many colors? Exactly. Uh, in six colors today, um, all inspired by the planet. So uh, ocean blue, sun orange, which is the one that you have, sky blue, um, forest green, rock gray, and obsidian black. Great. Um, Japanese love different colors, <laughs> colorful things. <Right. laughs> so um, you, your project started out as a crowdfunding project, right? In London? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it started um, really crowdfunding has been part of Ocean Bottle from the get go because mm. um, that's how we were really able to finance our first batch of, batch of production mm. um, through uh, another crowdfunding platform. Uh, called Indiegogo um, and the, really the campaign outperformed our initial goal by 260% um, so that was really for us uh, a realization that that crowdfunding was important to um, test the product and realize that it was a good way to get initial feedback from early adopters mm. um, and since that crowdfund we've really been able to, uh, to scale the, the project internationally. That's great. So what has been the uh, main response from your 
uh, early adopters? I think really good. Uh, we can't believe, um, you know, what, how how much people, you know, get behind our mission and and what they do with their bottle, where in in the adventures that they bring their bottles to. You know, we've seen them on top of mountains, mm. in the middle of the ocean, uh, used for applications that you wouldn't believe, like you know, making coffee on top of a big a big mountain, or uh, or uh, it also funny funnily enough really. Um, Substitutes very well for a cocktail shaker, so we've oh, seen a lot of people using true. it. As, yes, <laughs> the um, shape is perfect for that. <laughs> yeah, but what we've seen from, uh, especially um, in Japan, um, we've seen such an amazing response um, so far. You know, we've we've already um, hit our campaign goal on Campfire, which is great. But okay. really, our goal with this campaign is to go. Um, and outperform the goal by, by 10x, mm. uh, which I'm sure we'll be able to, to reach by the end of the campaign. Um, so far, it really seems like the, the audience has been really receptive to our environmental and social mission mm -hmm. uh, in a market where, you know, reusable bottles have become, I can imagine, an everyday staple. Um, it really shows great prospects for us in Japan. Um, so, so you mentioned that uh, your project is on campfire, right, in Japan? Yes. Uh, is that how people can participate if they're interested? In Japan, yeah. So we've we've launched the campaign uh, a few weeks ago, and okay. uh, we're about halfway through the campaign mm. uh, today. So there's still a lot of time left to participate. Um, and that on um, there's the, the goal for us was to um, make all the colors available, um, uh, make of bottles available in bundles and in all different sorts so that we, we would be able to cater to all uh, sorts of uh, all sorts of demand. So there's plenty left and we're really excited for the second half of the campaign. That's great. So when, when does the campaign end? end? Uh, so it ends in uh, 23 days. If I'm, uh, So it ends uh, towards the end of the month in May in and May. delivery will be happening this summer. Yeah. That's great. So I'm, I'm so lucky. I already got the bottle <laughs> yeah so um, how do you like your bottle oh great it's it's really light actually uh if when it's empty mm -hmm. of course and uh yeah. easy to use and also i have a dishwasher at home so it's nice that i can just put it in there and wash it rather than <laughs> hand wash it exactly um that was really that was really the the, the goal and that's why we spent um, over 3,000 design hours with mm. our um, design agency in Norway, um, K8. Uh, obviously, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel, but mm. we really wanted to create a product that just wouldn't end up collecting dust on the shelves. Right, uh, we right. wanted to create a product that people would love to pick up every day and bring it to bring um, bring with them on their adventures or mm. in, in their daily lives. Mm. That's why the product um, has been designed to be both very um, convenient to use. So it's the first insulated um, reusable bottle that is actually dishwasher proof, mm. uh, but also um, has great, um, great best in class features. Mm. That's great. And uh, I was very curious when I was reading the box, the box has all these mm -hmm. uh, different pictures and instructions and it said um, you it, it's micro microchip ready right yes. NFC smart chip enabled for more impact what does that mean <laughs> that's correct <laughs> so uh, really what we wanted to create with ocean bottle was obviously a, a sustainable product but beyond that we really wanted to incentivize uh, sustainable behavior. Mm. Um, so what we've done is uh, we've equipped each ocean bottle with an NFC smart chip at the base of the bottle. Okay. So that's a passive uh, chip, you know, just like a contactless uh, card or, you know, a public transportation card or a hotel room key. It's the same passive technology, so totally harmless. Um, and what this will enable us to do um, is that um, with a network of partners, we'll be able to um, redesign how we think um, loyalty, uh, membership, and incentivize um, incentivize reusable behaviors 
uh, not by um, really incentivize those behaviors by funding more plastic collection. Mm. Um, so um, turning a daily habit, like uh, you know, bringing your reusable bottle to the coffee shop into creating uh, further plastic impact. And we've mm. estimated that once the platform goes live, uh, which will be very soon, uh, we'll be able to turn impact from 1,000 plastic bottle collected at purchase to 10,000 plastic bottles every year wow. per, in, per, uh, per individual, yeah. That's amazing. So is it kind of like you will partner with, let's say, a cafe or a network of cafes mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. when, when a customer like me goes to the coffee shop and buys a coffee in this bottle, then they'll scam the chip exactly. and then exactly. I get discount or some something, maybe the coffee shop contributes some portion of the revenue exactly. to, to the cause or? Yeah, exactly. Essentially, instead of getting a discount, which is mm. usually what happens, uh, brand loyalty is really um, framed around brand discounting. What we want to do is instead of discounting, we want to create positive environmental impact. So instead of uh, getting a discount, the coffee shop will uh, fund plastic collection for you mm -hmm. to reward you um, for, for bringing a, a motion bottle. Uh, so besides Japan, in which other countries are you running your campaign project? So at the moment, uh, only in Japan. Oh, uh, this wow. is the only live campaign we have um, because we um, we, today, we are able to sell in most countries of the world directly uh, from our own channels. I see, I see. Um, uh, but uh, Japan was very a very interesting country to us and obviously far away logistically. And so we really thought that a uh, crowdfund would mm. be a really get, great way to uh, get insights, get great customer feedback, which has been um, very good so far. And obviously, um, and also, sorry, um, potentially find a, uh, a partner for us uh, mm. to um, to retail and to distribute our, our bottles. I see, I see. So why, why did you say Japan is an interesting country for you guys? <laughs> Just curious. Because I think it's a, it is a very uh, Western thing to be fascinated with the Japanese culture. <laughs> okay. uh, for, for a long time it has been it has been like that, you know. Mm. Um, and just uh, you know, reading reading articles about how um, sustainably advanced I think the, the consumer mindset is in Japan is just fascinating to us. That's why we really thought we really thought that we were missing out um, on on enabling individuals in Japan mm. uh, from having this impact by not being there. Right, right. So, I mean, I run a YouTube channel that has a, one mm. of the main themes of my channel is, you know, eco-friendly living. So I talk about the environment and how we can uh, live more sustainably, things like that to my, my viewers. And the response has been great. I, I feel that a lot of people are very, very interested in um you know having less impact on the environment uh, but at the same time japan as a country um is still kind of in the uh developing mode you know developing stage in terms of um sustainability so it's it's a good timing i think um because people are looking for different um options and different things they can do to make an impact yeah definitely yeah. i think i can definitely agree with that and we have seen that already from uh, the response so far in the campaign just the the feedback we've received and uh, um it's it's for us I, I think the timing could have not been better honestly mm. um just from what we've seen and and what lies ahead um for us as a company and as an impact company and i think for uh, for Japan as well, so we're really excited. That's great. Do you have any special message for my Japanese viewers? <laughs> well, I think the first thing is, uh, I think on behalf of uh, Will, Nick, and all of the Ocean Bottle team, I think we want to say a big thank you. Um, 
to for the incredible support we've we've received so far. Um, also, thank you, uh, thank you uh, for this <laughs> great <welcome>. interview <laughs> and for the time you you've you've allowed us um, on on your channel. Um, I, I think we're really excited for our um, early backers to receive their bottles uh, very soon mm. uh, and really for the future that lies ahead in Japan. So I want to say, and I'm going to butcher it, but I'm still going to try arigato gozaimashita. Uh, uh, that's great. So what, what is the um, next stage for Ocean Bottle? So we've got big goals for this year. Mm. Um, and they're all intertwined with how much impact we can create. So our first big goal this year um, is to reach the milestone of 3 million kilograms of plastic collected by the end of the year. Um, and that's really so that we can support the livelihood of collectors and communities as much as we can. Um, another very exciting um, prospect for the end of the year is that we're launching uh, new products and new accessories. So you'll see by the end of uh, the summer uh, a bigger bottle, um, more lifestyle uh, accessories, mm. like a coffee cup lid and a uh, easy access um, lid. Uh, and also, as I was saying earlier, this NFC platform is something that really excites us a lot. Mm. Um, and so we'll bring, we'll be really developing pilots mm. uh, in order to um, and, and bring in on new people so that we can develop the app platform, the web app, and really create a platform to help individuals grow their impact drastically just by bringing their reusable bottle, their ocean bottle with them every day. いかがだったでしょうか今日は、えー、オーシャンボトルのエミリエンさんをお迎えして、えー、オーシャンボトルという面白いプロジェクト、キャンペーンについて、えー、いろいろとお話を伺ってきました。やっぱりプラスチックの問題っていうのはみんな、まあまあ問題だろうっていうのは分かっていると思うんですけれども、どういうふうに自分がこう、うんまあ、影響力のある形でえー、何か貢献できるのかっていうところがまだちょっとよく見えてないっていう方もたくさんいらっしゃると思うので、まあ、そういった形の一つとして、えー、今キャンプファイヤーでクラウドファンディングをされてるっていうことなのでぜひ見てみてください、はい、今日はまた長い間ご視聴いただきましてありがとうございました See you next time!Yes!See you!Bye!Natsuki!It was great!Talk to you soon!